Ha ha ha! Oh, wrong direction. Can I not switch the camera? Hey, hey, oh, wrong camera. This is weird. Go this way. We have boxes. We have some boxes. One of these should be my teleprompter. The other should be something more exciting. I don't know how to tell if anyone's watching this stuff. Oh, hello. There's a chat. Hello. I got two hearts. Two hearts this time. This one is. Well, maybe. There we go. Whee. Thank you for your order. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. We've got some foam, which would actually be useful for uh, navigate or sound dampening, so I'll keep that. That's pretty cool. Oh, we've got, I need to hide the chat now, there we go, we've got an IO shield, so that must mean it's our motherboard. Gotta be very careful with this. Here, nope, another piece of foam, how generous. Free sound dampening for Epos. Did not know that would be part of the package. Man, this thing is awesome! Gotta be very careful not to touch the PCB itself. Touching just the pins, touch the RAM slot. There we go. There, set it down. That is a. That is. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve slots of RAM, two CPU sockets. Two PCI Express graphics. Actually, that's a different slot. I don't know what that slot is. That's interesting. That should be a graphics card compatible PCIe slot. Smaller PCIe slots. Normal PCI slot. Then we have dual gigabit network, or should be gigabit. Hopefully, it's faster. Probably gigabit. Another one over here. And then USB 2.0, so we will have to use some of these, um, some of these PCI slots for USB 3.0 cards. And then it looks like two USB 2.0 ports directly on the motherboard. Not 100% sure what's that. What's up with that? That's our first unboxing. Let's put that back in. Our anti-static bag to keep it safe here. That is for a really cool project coming up that I am really, really excited for. Go ahead and just set all of this out of the way until I can mess with it. And let us check out our other box here. And they have taped over the press firmly to seal. So that's going to be annoying. How do they want me to open this kind of box? Yep, gotta slice up the tape. There we go. Do we have chat saying anything? I don't understand how chat works. No, I don't understand Periscope. Okay. Slash it up. Right, we're good. Ha 
Aha. And this would be my teleprompter. I think. Yep, teleprompter with beam splitting glass. Yep, that would be my door. Apologies for that. Got a new package delivered. Not, not one I'm going to be unboxing here, though. All right, box is done. So we have some stuff. That's bubble wrap. That's bubble wrap. That's paperwork. That's bubble wrap. We got a box. We've got a bracket system here. Kind of made me nervous for a second. Interactive Media Net. This is going to get very complicated to mount, and I frankly may not have a proper mounting solution for it just yet. That may be the next step before I really get teleprompting up in here. Then I assume this attaches to this to some degree. Again, I don't know. Then we have the shroud. Hello, whistle. The shroud and some screws here. Got a bag of screws and like standoffs. And then we've got the shroud itself. And we have another box. Box it up. have directions which will be very handy. It's like Christmas. And there is our beam splitting glass. This is camera side. This must be tablet side then. It's quite reflective, as you can see. All right. Then we have a cloth just to put over the camera and back of the frame as to prevent glare and it being seen on camera. All right, so we have, we're assembling this here. Oh geez, why is this so complicated, why? Why? Why does everything have to be so complicated? Alright, this is the top plate. They have long screws running through it. Alright, on the top plate, insert a two and a half inch long screw into each of the four slots. I'm not 100% sure how they expect me to do this. I'll give you a better view there. Alright, so... Looks like I take that off. Like that. Yes, unscrew all of these bastards. Slide them off. Let's go on and slide them off. Come on. Come on. There we go. Why do these need to unscrew? Come on, man. Ain't nobody got time for that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, just get on out of there.
Alright, and then it says place the two white spacers on each screw. I have a DSLR that says consider using only one spacer. Okay. You have a DSLR with a battery pack on the bottom of the camera or a flip camera. This lowers the height of the lens. Alright, we're going to go with one spacer to start, but I may have to be fully prepared to put a second one on there regardless. Alright, two white spacers. Take the bottom plate, flip it upside down so the bent lip faces down, and align the holes to the screws Allowing the screws to go through the holes. Alright, fairly simple. Boom. And tighten the nuts onto the screws. Alrighty. We are making some progress. Come on. Jesus Christ, get on the freaking screw. Here, we'll put on this one then. That one's going to be so complicated. No, it's just the nut being complicated. What the hell is up with these... What the... What about this one? You gonna be complicated too? Yep, of course you. Oh, there we go. Just gotta get her on there, right? I tell you what. All right, let's go. Come on, get on there, right? Correct. There we go. All right. I'm just going to hand tighten these for now, and then I will manually tighten them later. But it's looking like something now, whatever it's supposed to look like. Flip our directions over. Attach the teleprompter to the tripod using the slot on the bottom plate using the provided wing nut. Well, the provided wing nut don't looks like don't look like it's gonna go around my tripod screw. Uh, okay, I gotta take my camera off my tripod first. That was not. I hadn't finished assembling. I wasn't prepared to start attaching yet. Okay. We will go on and try attaching to the tripod screw, I guess. Will this even fit around the screw here? Yes, it will. It's just going to be a pain in the ass because this tripod quick release plate is really freaking stupid. So, which one's which? Okay, so this is the bottom. You are using a small camera, attach it with the tripod closer to the front, if you're using a larger one, close to the back. I don't see how putting it close to the back is going to be a good idea, but how the hell am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to get my hand up in here? Ah, you crazy sons of bitches. Oh my god, yeah, I don't see how this is going to work damn tripod screw is pretty awful and it doesn't fit through the metal here I may need to go get pliers yeah I'm gonna go get pliers real quick hang on that might help
All right. Needle nose pliers here should be what we need to hold it in place, maybe, hopefully. Oh my god, this is not... The bane of my existence is going to be this damn tripod head. That's going to be really obnoxious. Actually, let me see if another one will fit. Where's my slider? If this one fits, then I'll be okay, but I don't foresee it fitting on my current tripod. Yeah, it's not going to. Okay, that's a problem. Because this one's much better. This is the one for my slider. It's got a very good locked into place system. And this quick release plate is just a piece of shit. So let me do a dry run of attaching it on here, I guess. You see, even when I'm holding it, it's very hard to get it lined up. And there's barely any room for the grip. Alright. If wing screw is too long, add washers. It's not too long, it's too short. Damn you. Alright, so... Neater nose. Flush with the slot. Alright, I'm twisting, but it's not like tightening into the wing nut at all. Yeah, this may not work. Son of a bitch! What the hell am I supposed to do here? Can I take out my tripod screw? I may regret this. Put whatever this is in. Oh no, they need this one. And that won't fit anyway. Damn it! Why did they have to make such a shitty tripod? Alright, you know what? We're doing this in reverse order because this is stupid. There was no reason to put the top plate on before I did this because that's only making things worse. I'm taking the top plate off. And then we'll put it back on since we relatively know what we're doing with this. I didn't expect them to just fall right out, but okay. my washers now. I promise this will be really cool for my videos once it's done. <laughs> Alright. Fucking hell, dude. Alright, so this on its side, which of course it won't balance on its own because it's annoying. And then we just forcibly screw the wing nut on here, and we should be good. Don't tell me it does not have enough room to get a grip on the threads. And they were all, use a washer if it's too long. No, it's not too long. It... Tripod screws are not made to go through a metal plate before reaching the camera. And I have a really, really cheap tripod. Alright, this is really going to piss me off, because this is my only tripod to really do this with at the moment, because it's the only one tall enough. Oh, now the screw's twisting on me. Come on, I... Almost at it. Come on, I just need like a millimeter more of thickness. That's what she said. Ha ha. Yeah, it's not going to fit. Son of a bitch! Okay. Well, 
Then let's just do it with the other tripod head for now. Yep, and that one fits perfectly. God fucking damn it. Alright, we're just gonna roll with this for now. And I'll figure it out later. Alright, so we have this attached. We need to reattach this garbage. This is what happens when you buy cheap tripods, folks. Oh, wow. I'm an idiot. The speaker's on the wrong side. Thank you. All right. There we go. Or not washer, not. There it is. And food. camera connects to this via this wing screw I see okay attach the flame frame flamed framed glass to the framed glass holder of course they don't have a figure for this okay they have this figure which shows it Just like this. No, that's not right. It's gonna be like this. Oh, it does not fit in here well. Come on. No, it's not supposed to. It's supposed to fit up here. Okay. Attach the frame, framed glass, the frame glass to the glass frame holder. Beam splitter glass has reflective side and non-reflective side. The reflective side is placed on the smooth finished side. Reflective side is rough, unfinished. You want the reflective side to face the tablet. Non-reflective side, face the camera. Lay the flame holder flat and place the frame glass between the upward sides. Use information above to orient the frame holder facing current direction. Frame glass may be slightly larger than frame holder. This is acceptable. Turn on one side, line up the holes, and screw in the screws. Alright, we are making some progress here. Just need to grab my screwdriver. This is right here. All right. Let's see how well these pre-drilled holes did. Y'all can't even see this. We.
This is making me nervous. Not gonna lie. It's screwed in there without like a hitch or a crack though, so progress, progress. Screwed into the furthest away one next. Shall flip. Do the same to the other side. There we go. Line it up and screw away. Fuck. Try that again. There we go. Alrighty. We now have the frame thingy. If we put it up here, this is not camera side, this is camera side. If we shoot through it, well that's misleading. It says camera side, and that looks like the most reflective of it all. This one isn't, okay. Well that may be backwards. The non-reflective side is on the rough, unfinished side. Yeah, I think we have it backwards. Fucking shit. Why does it say camera side on the reflective side? That doesn't quite make any... Actually, we're going to leave it for now. Because I'll end this once I get the basic construction done. And we'll figure out what the hell's going on. Alright, attach it to the bottom plate. Through here. There's not room for that. Unless we go underneath, there's not room for that either. I don't think they've understood what they've created here. Alright, you know what? I'll end it for now because I've got to figure this out and it's going to be complicated. So. Thanks for watching, if you're watching at all. Peace.